These are the shoes that were top of their class in 2023. Now it's time to put them all head to head. This is the battle for the 2023 Shoe of the Year. Yo, what's going on? My name is Kapuzi and I'm a non-elite runner who reviews shoes here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to talk about my 2023 shoe of the year and the shoes that were contenders for that crown. But first, let's go over some disclosures. All these shoes were sent by their respective manufacturers for the purpose of review, so I didn't have to pay for any of them. However, no one's paying me to make this video or to include their shoe on this list, and no one's gonna get a chance to preview this list before it goes up on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the contenders for 2023 shoe of the year. First, let's talk about the winner from the max cushion category for this year, and that's the Nimbus 25. It's big, it's mushy, it's comfortable. It was my top max cushion shoe for 2023, but ultimately in my mind, I just don't think that a max cushion shoe is ever gonna win shoe of the year. So it does get honorable mention here. It's in the running, but it's not gonna be the shoe of the year. Next, let's go to a shoe that was runner up in the daily trainer category, a shoe that used to be in the max cushion category, but this year I put it as a daily trainer. It's the 1080 version 13. I love what they've done to change this shoe while Outwardly, they've made it more boring than ever, and traditionally the 1080 has been a very wild, unconventional design. But even though it's now more boring on the outside, underfoot it's really fantastic. That new formulation of Fresh Foam X that they put into this shoe is an absolute delight to run on both as a max cushion shoe and as a daily trainer, and it can even pick up the pace a bit as well. And so while it's a really excellent shoe from 2023, and I suspect a lot of you guys will run in it in 2024, it didn't even make my top daily trainer of the year, but it is, I think, in the running for best shoe of 2023. It's certainly in that top five overall. Now, let's talk about the winner from that daily trainer category, and that is the Novo Blast 4. It is a fun shoe. It's an exciting shoe. It can do a little bit of everything, and it does it all really well. I absolutely love this shoe, but the biggest problem for the Novo Blast 4 in 2023 is that I'm not sure that it's better than my 2022 shoe of the year, which is its predecessor, the Novo Blast 3. It is an interesting update, but for my personal set of preferences, I'm still kind of longing for the extra bit of snappiness that its predecessor had. And so while I do think it's gonna be one of the best shoes that was released in 2023, it's not taking the crown as shoe of the year. Now let's go to the runner up, which was a very exciting shoe that I tested all the way in the beginning of 2023. And that's another very green shoe. It's coming from Saucony, the Endorphin Elite. It took the crown as top super shoe of 2023. It's got that new Power Run HG foam, which makes it really light and exciting to run in, but it also can deliver the steady power that you need for those long marathon miles. But I think we're also at a point at the end of 2023 and moving into 2024 where super shoes are becoming very specific to different types of runners. And ultimately, I think that's a good thing because it previously used to be, here's like the only good super shoe we have and hopefully it works for you and your mechanics. Now there's a different super shoe that can suit every different kind of runner that's out there and they're all excellent. It just depends on who you are and which shoe that you match up well with. And so it's gonna become increasingly increasingly difficult in my mind for a super shoe to become a shoe of the year just because no super shoe is going to be universally applicable. Although in my mind, I feel like the Endorphin Elite comes pretty close. That leaves us to the shoe of the year. I feel like for those of you who have been paying attention, you guys already know what shoe I'm going to talk about and some of you guys have already predicted it. And for me, the 2023 shoe of the year is going to be the Puma Deviate Nitro 
2. Not the Nitro Elite 2, but the Nitro 2. This is a shoe that uses two kinds of foam, Nitro foam and their Nitro Elite foam combined with a carbon fiber plate. The way that they've set this shoe up makes it fantastic for daily training miles, workout miles, and I know a lot of you guys are even racing your marathons in this shoe too. It can do a little bit of everything. It was my top tempo shoe of the year. And because I have just so much fun in it, no matter what I'm using it for, it's my 2023 shoe of the year. And it's a shoe that also happens to be something that you guys have been enjoying as well throughout the year. So those are my contenders for the 2023 shoe of the year, as well as my top pick. Let me know what tops your list for shoes that came out in 2023. Let me know in the comments down below, or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday over on the Kofuzi Run Club channel. I'd love to talk to you guys over there in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody, and that's all I have for 2023. I'll see you again in 2024. So in the meantime, be safe out there, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?